Hey, what's going on guys? PSV here, and welcome back to another mod review on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, you're probably thinking, God, you're doing a lot of series at once. Yes, I am running quite a few series at once, but I love doing it. Making videos is just so cool. I just enjoyed making them. I enjoy uploading them to share the content with you and try and improve over time. So hopefully, what's improved in this video, hopefully the audio is much better. As in, I've managed to set up my M7 mic that went bust. Set it up, I'm ordering um, ordering it, I'm recording audio separate to video, so we should get a nice, better sound. So, here we are. So, let me just quickly come out of this, so you can get a nice little view of the truck. So, today we're doing a mod review on the Maz 5, uh, 5440. I've literally had a little play around to see what customizations there are for it. And to be honest, this is quite a cool little groovy truck. Got to say, just take a nice little view around the whole truck so you can just get to see what it all looked like. So it looks quite groovy. So shall we head over and see what customizations we can do? I think we sure can. First of all, what I'm going to do is just step outside the truck, listen to it start up. It's got quite a beefy engine. Did you hear that? Let me just... A very beefy engine. So what we're going to do is just drive this over, just over here. Take it nice and steady, and see what customizations we can do to this baby. Let's just step in. So truck service upgrade shop. Let's have a look. So first of all, let's see. We start off with the cabin. There are two different types of cabin. One you can have basically if you look here it changes these bits to yellow so it's all colour coded but I prefer it being black, I'm going to keep it as that. The chassis, I will say this is all in foreign language, what you've got to do is just click around and uh, you will see what the difference is. So, so this is bulk standard 4x2, these two here are kind of special because it adds something on the back, I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to show you the others, you see 6x4. Before again, just changes the color there. I know what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have this one. Look at that. The only problem I have noticed if you look, it kind of looks like the wheels are off the ground, but I have already tested it. The wheels aren't off the ground, so don't worry, you're not just driving on your front two wheels. <laughs> what wouldn't be very good, but do I have it? No, I think I'll have it like that because I don't want it too black. That looks quite nice. So, this is the chassis I'm gonna stay with. So, as you can see, there's a massive amount of chassis. Again, you may be able to understand what it says, but I can't. I just don't. I only speak English, but I can work out what it all does, so it doesn't really make no difference to me. Moving over to the engines, so it starts off at a uh, 250 horsepower, what we've got at the moment. It goes up to a 400. I don't want to go too crazy. I think I might put the 330, the 330, and I don't understand how you can have a bigger engine but cheaper. I think they just need to swap them around. But that's just a problem with the author. They may just not notice that of the mod. But that's all good for me at the moment. That's all good. That's all cool. So I'm going to keep it as the 330. Moving on to the uh, transmission, I'm going to keep it bulk stands. Also, you have got the two here. I'm just going to keep it as that eight speed. That's all I really need. The interior. The interior is a bit of a letdown. It would be nice to see if you could put, change it to right hand drive. I'm not really fast. I like driving on both right and left. But all it really does is watch the steering wheel it just changes the steering wheel that is it I prefer that steering wheel anyway I look feel that that's too bulky it's too in your face you know what I mean that's just nice they're not too bright bit dull looking all good it's not covering too much of the dash either so I'm gonna keep the interior it could have been a bit more you know a bit better in the interior range but that's all okay stock color just obviously bulk standard moving on to accessories so as you can see there are lots and lots of dots we're going to start off by just doing what's this one. Oh, not sure that is. Where shall we start off? We're going to start off with just here. Uh, this is basically where you can just add some numbers and letters. You, but for any reason, you only get a certain amount of letters you can add. That's the same for this side. I will also just put out there, different chassis do have different um, accessories. Like you can add big ball bars on some different chassis. We'll just put that out there. It's sort of a mod you need to click around and get the hang of it. 
Uh, where should we click next? I think we'll just click these windows. So again, this just brings up a little pattern, both sides. Well, I do think it's quite a cool little feature, so I'll keep that. Mirrors, you don't really get no options, but pointless having the dot there. Uh, is this the interior? Yeah, a lot of the buttons are for the interior, I do believe. Yeah, okay, so you can have like a little sun visor there. I guess that looks okay. Does it look better with that one? No, I think we'll have a sun visor there. So here we go. We can have the lights like that. We have a yellow like trim around the lights. Or you can have it so it's black so it blends in. I'm going to have the yellow just so you can see the lights a bit better. Moving up to this top light. This is all basically beacon options. So we'll start off at the bottom. We have one beaker. We can have two beacons. The one. The one. The two. The one. <laughs> I'm going to stick for two in the middle, I think. If I can remember what one it is, that one. Just so it looks a bit more classy. The wheels. You do get box standard wheels um, with the mod, but again, you can add all the standard Euro truck wheels. But I'm going to leave it how it is because I don't particularly want to use stuff that's not part of the mod within my mod reviews because otherwise it wouldn't really be any good. So as you can see, there's a lot of dots optional, but this is when we jump inside. So now we've jumped inside. This is where it all happens. <laughs> okay, there are some really crazy stuff you can add. For example, this. Okay, I don't like them in my truck. I'm not going to have that. Actually, it's a mod review. Shall we make it? Yeah, of course we'll have that. <laughs> there is another crazy thing, if I can find it. Is it this? No, it's not that. But what the hell is that? I've never seen that. Okay. Uh, okay. Where's the little crazy? Oh, I'll have that. There is something proper crazy. It may be because it was on the other chassis that I see it. Like I said, they do uh, change each chassis you have. But, I'm trying to find where it is now. Well, basically, what it did, it covered up the whole window, so you couldn't see out of it. It's a bit pointless, really. It's like one of them things you have when you're going to sleep to cover up the whole window. It's a bit crazy, really. What can we have on here? Oh, we can have a notepad and pen so we know where we're going, like, to write down all the jobs that we've done. I think that's quite cool. So there's not a large amount of customizations you can do. Yeah, it looks like a lot of dots, but, again, a lot of that you can customise for the inside. Oh, we've already said we don't want that. So that's basically as much as you're going to get with this chassis. Again, you can click around and have a look at all the different chassis, but I'm not going to cover every single chassis in this one because it would be... A ridiculously long video so what I'm going to do is confirm the order jump into the paint shop make sure there's no oh you can have it so you can, uh, can have a, a metallic color or custom I think I'm just going to keep it as the oh I quite like that white I quite like the white actually what's the blue look like now looks like a toy truck I think I'm going to go for that guys I really do like that that looks very nice. Confirm that order. Let's jump back out to our truck. And shall we take a look at what this beauty has brought us. <laughs> so yeah, you're probably thinking, how do the trailers work? To be truthful with you guys, I've not actually tried out the trailers. But I will going to show you that in this video. So we will see if the trailers work. It's either going to be a disaster or it's going to be uh, amazing. It will look quite cool with an added trailer. Let's just get rid of that for a minute. So have a nice little view. Definitely beefy sound. Liking all the air. You can hear all the air brakes all kicking in. What does make the video quite cool? The video, the truck, quite cool. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is just try and find a job that we can take. By hitting escape, job market. And let's see in its own time. Just froze for a minute there. I don't want a long one. We're not actually completing the job. I just want to see if it pulls the trailer or not. That is literally it. We, in, uh, for you that watch my mod reviews, we don't actually drive. If you've never watched one before, we don't actually drive the truck as in do the whole journey. We just pick up a trailer and see how it pulls, etc. Like that. So we know how it works. And if this trailer is going to work with this chassis. It's going to be another question. So they just blocked us in. 
lovely of them and of course AI is never going to let us go so we could be here for a bit of a long wait hopefully not too long though if you kind of push out hopefully that cars cool little horn on the truck oh trust us to get held at red lights hey Let's just take a nice little look around. So it does look quite cool. It looks pretty impressive. There you go. It's all lit up there. That does look pretty cool. Quickly sneak in before that car turns up. So at least you actually get me drive, uh, get to see me driving a truck for a bit. Look at the window wipers, <laughs> three of them. It's quite cool if you look. There is movement as well when you're doing window wipers. Actually, on the controls, are actually moving as well. Wonder if it's, this is one of these that you can see the gears. So sometimes you can actually see the gear lever move. What about the handbrake? Handbrake, you can. That's all cool. Be a bit gutted if you couldn't see the handbrake. That's one of the minor ones. So I hope everyone's all having a fantastic day. A lot of people are saying, why aren't you streaming it much anymore? The reason I'm actually concentrating more on my YouTube channel at the moment instead of the old streaming side. I don't know why I'm sliding down, it's because I'm talking. On the uh, than the streaming side, just to due to the fact I want to grow my channel much more and I want to I enjoy bringing content to you guys. And it's just as easier to do YouTube videos when I'm free than promising a stream and then never getting around to do it. So uh, I like to do YouTube more at the moment. So that's why I'm not been streaming much. But I'm trying to bring out as much content as I can. As you all know, I have also on my previous video, my last one I uploaded, I have also uh, started a Euro Truck series where I'm doing my trucking business on a separate account. So do head over and check that out if you haven't already. So I'm just pulling in here. And break on. Let's just take this job and see what, look, what this truck looks like pulling it. So we've got to just try and remember where I loaded. Oh, it's this one that's tucked around the corner. This is a lovely pickup point. This is. Oh my god, they've made it even worse. It's this one. You got to U-turn it here. That's going to be fun. I've got a feeling this ain't going to connect. I really do have that feeling that this is not going to connect. If not, I am going to be quite gutted. Let me just... I don't normally skip in this view when I'm reversing, but I just want to see if this is going to connect or not. Oh, wow. This is not going to look good. Okay, it connects. <laughs> <laughs> it connects, but it kind of looks a bit weird. It kind of doesn't look right. Now somehow we've got to try and turn this around in here. The weight of it is just pulling the front of my trailer, uh, front of my cab, sorry. we got to somehow again try and just I've got my full lock on you can see it's kind of pulling the weight of the trailer is really pulling on my uh, cab it's like look at the, my back wheels look at them <laughs> and as soon as I go forward they drop down it's kind of like I'm jackknifing but I shouldn't be oh this is an entertaining video I am loving this Guys, I'm not crashing. I have literally got my steering wheel full lock, but the trailer of it is pulling. I can't drive with the trailer. Look, full lock. And the weight of the trailer is just pulling and crashing in. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Guys, this is going to be one hell of a trip if you any of you decide to do this as a trip. Literally, I've got it full locked to the right now. In lit oh my god. I'm not even going to risk going on the roads. <laughs> Okay, so that has knocked down my review on this, but it's all good. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap the video up here. <laughs> it's been a bit of a disaster, but it was quite cool. So as we've realised, with different chassis, you're not being able to drive the lorry. You are not... It's physically impossible. I'm sure it's not physically impossible. I'm sure someone will do it. But it is really difficult, especially with this box trailer on the back. So, uh... I'm going to give this review, this review a, uh, I'm going to say 6 out of 10. The reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 is due to the lack of customizations. So it should have the same customizations on all the chassis. And it's lost a big chunk of it because of this trailer issue. That is just kind of a bit of a letdown, really. But, without further ado, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope to all see you in my further videos. Please be sure to check out that. Uh, part one of my Euro truck truck business. Part two will be out very shortly. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.